Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We got the big one for you today. We're going to do these shows early because I'm going to be out of town at the Pro Gray Haney fight. So we're going to start next week's shows early. Uh, we're starting, you know, we'll do, probably do, do another tomorrow. I'll probably do Hector Har and Andy Cruz tomorrow for y'all. I'll either do that Saturday or Sunday, potentially Sunday. Uh, but I want to get into this. Um, I want to get into Regis Pro Gray and Devin Haney. Um, we, we got our upset special. I think this is a great opportunity to make money. I, I, I'll get into why in just a minute. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Uh, giving you the odds, showing you how to bring down the house. We don't gamble here. I don't gamble. But if you guys do, um, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. The Boxing Odds Makers. The bookies, they don't know how to handicap the sport. I do, and I'm going to consistently show you how to make money on the sport, how to hedge your losses, because, uh, you know, you will take losses here and there, but consistently we're going to make money. We're going to make money in every single card, and this is a great card to make money on. Uh, this is a, a terrific, terrific card uh, to bet on. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house, um, bring down the house on this one. Uh also, please follow our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene, YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, all right, y'all. Let, let's get into let's get into today's show. Um, this is going to be a good one. Reasons Pro Gray, Devin Haney, uh, 140 pounds. Reasons Pro Gray's WBC belt. Everyone is taking Haney, and I'm, I'm guessing because of Regis's last fight against Zaria. I didn't even go back and watch it when I was when I was when I was watching tape. It's a throwaway fight. It was a terrible fight. Zaria would not engage. Zaria wouldn't fight. That's not what we're going to get with Devin Haney. You know, you guys want to say that Devin Haney is a back foot fighter, and he can't fight off the back foot, but he likes to come forward. He has to fight at range. He has to fight at range. He doesn't have a lot of power. But go watch. I, I watched the Lomachenko fight, and I, I, I watched the Jojo Diaz fight. He's not running off the back foot. I mean, um, he struggles a little bit with southpaws. That's, that's first, right? Uh, most people think he lost to Loma, and he struggled with Jojo. Jojo probably won four rounds with him. And Jojo has been completely trash since then. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, um, He has the, the length. He has to keep Regis off of him. And he's easy to time. He pulls straight back. He pulls his head straight back. Like, for a master crashman, he's got some flaws, right? And Regis is quick. Regis is not Jojo Diaz. Regis is quick. Regis has excellent timing. Regis is a rhythm fighter. Regis is going to snap his head back with that, with that southpaw jab. That's going to happen all night. And Regis can get inside on him. Regis is an excellent counter puncher. Like, Devin Haney is there to be beat, right? Like, he's got great athleticism, great skills, uh, but he's got flaws, like like noticeable flaws. Um, can, can you get to his body? Can you get to his body and slow him down, right? Because, like, Regis can win this thing in multiple ways. Regis can bang. Regis can box. Regis can fight in the mid-range. Devin's got to do one thing. Devin's got to keep it at long range. The moment he does it, he starts to lose, right? And... We saw Regis, and I'm not saying Josh Tell is at the level of, of skills from the long range at Devin Haney's, but we saw Regis outbox Josh Taylor, who can hit, who can box from long range. That's where he won that fight. And Taylor did his better work on the inside, which is really weird because Taylor's so long and Regis is shorter. Um, JoJo is slow as can be, and JoJo was able to hit him with a, with a ton of shots, um, able to get to his body. If JoJo can do it, Regis can do it. Like, Regis, I like JoJo Diaz. Regis is, a, is, is levels ahead. Go back and watch the Pedraza fight, right? Like, he's he's another level. Levels ahead, right? And I, I, I think we're overrating. I like Haney, too. I think we're overrating Haney just a little bit. When I show you the odds of what it looks like for Regis to win a decision, unless Vegas is telling me, unless the book that you're telling me that this fight is rigged and Regis can't win a decision because the judges already handed their cards in, I'm going to show you these odds, and, and they're they're staggering. Um, You know, Regis got to make uh, Devin uncomfortable. 
right? You got to make him uncomfortable. You, you got to get on the inside. You got to use your strength. You got to, you know, um, when Hooker fought um, J.C. Ramirez in Dallas back in 2019, I guess it was, both Regis and Dev were there. And we're talking about how those guys are going to fight one day. And this is back in 2019 when Regis was just, uh, when Dev was just 20 years old. Um, and you can see that he was bigger than Regis then, and now he's 24, his body's filling out. There's not going to be a size factor. I, I, I'm not, Regis is not going to have a size advantage over Devin Heaney. I want to throw that out right now. That's not going to be a factor. Um, what is going to be a factor is that Devin Haney's flaws fight into Regis's hands. Re, Devin Haney can be nailed with a southpaw jab. Regis has a really good southpaw jab. What affects Devin Haney? Power and speed. He's got the power. He's got the speed to get inside. Regis has excellent timing. He's a rhythm fighter. If you let Regis get into the rhythm, it gets into his rhythm, you know, where he's moving off, moving, moving and jabbing, he's hard. He's hard to deal with. He's really difficult to deal with. Um, you got to throw off his timing and throw off his rhythm. Uh, Ken Devin, he doesn't have the power to hurt him. You know, Jojo Diaz was, you know, w- 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 was smirking when he felt Devin's power. I'm not saying Devin's not the best. I'm saying what I saw. And I saw him hit Jojo Diaz clean. And Jojo go back to his quite aesthetic. This guy can't hurt me. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to bum rush him. Right. Um, Devin is more, I mean, Regis is more skilled and, and he's quicker and he's better at getting on the inside. He has much better timing. He's going to, he's going to nail him with the overhand left. Like, uh, I, I think this fight lines up really, really well um, for Regis. And Regis can be pretty elusive, right? Like, like he's herky, jerky. He's in this rhythm and he's just, he's constantly moving. He, he, he He's hard to hit. He's hard to hit clean. Um you know, I think everyone is so overrating how bad he looked in this Maria fight. Okay, he, it was not a good performance. Devin Haney almost got stopped by um, – my brain doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I'm getting so old. Uh, Jorge Linares, thank you. Jorge Linares almost stopped um, – Devin Haney. So, like, anyone can have a bad night. The Zaria fight was really, really bad for Regis, okay? Um, but it's he's not – unless you think Devin's just going to get on his bike and run, which he doesn't do, then this is not going to look like that. And if you think he, Regis, who I think is a pound, a pound guy, who I don't think has ever lost a fight, where I think he beat Josh Taylor, right – it's gonna have that kind of performance two nights in a, two fights in a row, unless you think he's totally shot because he's in his mid thirties now. He hasn't been overly active. He hasn't taken a lot of beatings. Uh, you know, he, he had the one war, war with Josh Taylor, but other than that, he hasn't been in too many tough fights. Like he's pretty clean for thirty five, I think he is. Um, you know, he's a really good counter puncher. He finishes well. He's got good power. Uh, he's got one punch power. Like I, so many things line up in the favor of Regis program. He's got way more tools in the toolbox than Devin Haney does. Like there's more ways that he can win this fight. Devin can only win this one way. Regis can win this multiple ways. I, I don't think he's going to stop him. I think this goes the distance. Um, but as long as he's applying pressure and, and he's making Devin uncomfortable, he's going to win this fight. He's going to win rounds. Um, you know, like that. Most people think Loma. Beat Regis, beat Dev. Most people think that. I, I did. I know some people didn't. You know, it's not unanimous, but it's, it's, it's the overwhelming majority of people thought Loma won that fight. Um, I don't think it was a robbery, a horrible, egregious decision. It was close. I, I scored it. I, I scored it for Loma. Um, but so many things are going to line up for Regis, right? Like, 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 like Devin's weaknesses fall into the strengths of, of Regis. And like, what are we really, honestly, what are Regis's flaws? What are his flaws? He doesn't really have too many, right? Like Regis is really, really good. Yeah, you know, I call it out, leave it in the comments. What are Regis's like major flaws? I just gave you Devin Haney's. He pulls straight back. He doesn't move his head, right? He can't fight. He can't fight in all three distances. Like they're, they're, they're there. You can time them. Regis throws in combinations. 
He he's an accurate counter puncher. He'll nail you. He'll time you and nail you with the, with the with the straight left hand. He's got a really snappy jab. Like I said, he's his his motion. He's athletic. His motion is kind of weird and herky jerky. Let's look at the odds now. Let's pull up the odds. That's enough talk. Let's pull up the odds. I'm gonna show you how to make money on this fight. But I feel like I had to sell you on why Regis is gonna win this fight. <clears throat> so Regis is plus three ten. I'm not touching that. You can touch it if you want, but I'm show you what I think is the best bet. Regis by decision, plus 750. Plus 750. A $100 bet makes you 850. Your, your original bet plus 750 more. And then I'm going to take over 10 and a half. The over 10 and a half is, is a hedge. Um, it's going to make you $17. Uh, if you want to take this, I'd say why not? It pays pretty well, but I think it's overkill. You can do that, right? It's going to make you $310. So on this bet, when we win this bet, a $300 bet is going to make you uh, $750, $860, almost $900 on a $300 bet. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, So Regis, by decision, over 10 and a half. I think it's a safe bet. I, I think this is a fight that we can make a ton of money on. Uh, you know, everyone's going to say, take Dev. Let him. I think Regis is going to win this fight on decision. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Um, quick, uh, The Boxing Book, he comes at you for every major fight. Showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, it is December 1st, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.